A L O N E. What comes to your mind or what do you feel when you hear the word alone? Do you feel a tangling excitement to be in the state of being by yourself or an uncomfortable feeling? Anxiety. Commonly, being alone is fear. Well, of course, no one wanted to be alone for the rest of their lives. But does the notion of being alone is equal to being lonely? Definitely not. Alone and lonely are two different things because you can feel happy even if you're alone and feel lonely even you have company. What was I trying to say? Associating loneliness to being alone is very much stereotype. That's the reason why most people do not like to be alone. However, it is high time where we needed to confront ourselves and enter our personal space to get a hold of ourselves during these trying times. Through this, we can realize that sometimes we needed our own times to truly find happiness in contrary to the notion that being on our own is lonely. So, why was I in front of you giving a speech? Well, to tell you frankly, I was supposed to enjoy my alone time at my room watching a movie with some snacks and so on, feeling comfort in my zone. Then I suddenly thought of talking about the precious moment in front of you, tackling the power of being alone. As a kid, I usually prepared to be by myself in a quiet and not crowded places. I am definitely a homebody who do not like to go outside, shy to initiate a conversation and whatnot. With these characteristics, I can definitely say that I'm an introvert who values my moment as someone who likes to be by myself. I realized many things which made my mindset mature as I continue to value my own time. I spent many hours with the company of myself and with that, I continuously discover things and now myself better. Nevertheless, whether you are an introvert, extrovert, or even an ambivert, it is necessary that we should give ourselves our own time. To further discuss the essence of the topic, I give meaning to the letters of alone. The first one is A, for a time, for oneself, where you take a step back from the world to listen to your inner voice and detach yourself from the stressful world outside. Just give yourself time to connect to yourself and think through your thoughts. L, for leisure, to rest, be creative, do things that you love and make you happy. Simple things that make you feel contented and enough. Sometimes it's good to just sit and zone up. Look outside and don't think too much. As for myself, I give myself time to just listen to music or to dance or take a nap or watch clip that lift up my mood. It doesn't need to be an extravagant pleasure. It's okay to pamper yourself to the things that it's for your own good. O stand for overcome. Of course, all of us have things that we thought we could be better at if we do this. Or avoid that. In this, we could use our time to change things about ourselves, overcoming our fears, or gaining confidence through the time we spend by ourselves. We can also use the time to overcome procrastination and bad habits to build a good habit. And need to reflect. We need to reflect with our past decision, action, and thoughts. Reflect on your behaviors, attitudes, relationship, and build faith and among others. We can use this to heal our own wounds or to find peace within ourselves as we ponder 
our choices. Learn from our mistakes. Let go and move on. Lastly, E for exploration. Explore. Try things on your own. It may be a new hobby or watch a new movie. You take your time to explore, be productive, and learn things not only about yourself, but also about the world. As we spend our time and go on with our lives, we will soon meet the self who is better than the self we have before. In this sense, we can say that we spend our alone time to something meaningful and fruitful. This will build our confidence to be mentality stronger, have self-awareness, as well as develop self-love. The power of being alone lies upon after you. Yourself experience it because you will realize things. You will now focus on your valuable things, treasure the moment, and not throw away your time to things that do not actually matter. Then after looking instead you and giving yourself time that you needed, you can now take a step outside and enjoy the company of others. You will also realize what have improved as you now look at the world in a different perspective because now you know yourself better. You know what to keep and what to let go because you now know what is important and what is not. And one thing to remember, balance your time. Now, when you need to socialize and need time for yourself, because when too much of either the two, you will only exhaust yourself or lose yourself. Now, I give the baton to you. Let's get the power, the power of being alone.